Aloha, Aina. To love nature. I think it's about time we all get back to loving nature again, isn't it? Um, what we've been seeing with the algae blooms from Lake Okeechobee, this is a result of humans living in a wrong way. Um, we have the answer. We've still been sitting here bickering about the problem, though. What happened with Deep Horizon? Did we sit around and talk about whose fault it was, or did we get out there and start getting some solutions and figuring out how to solve the problem? The death isn't going to slow down, guys. Um, we have a solution with using duckweed. Um, it takes nitrates and phosphates out of the water, feeds the duckweed, it outcompetes the algae, it's easier to harvest, to get rid of. Um, not only that, it takes up a lot of CO2. So what that's going to do is lower ocean acidification, lower the rate of global warming, thus increasing our rates of uh, coral restoration. Florida is an ecosystem, guys, and we're losing it. We need to get back with being with nature, to love nature again. What if I told you that we could figure out, and already have, how to make these duckweed mats turn into a biological solar panel that we could actually use to uh, power the United States of America? Um, information is out there, solutions are out there, and I don't understand why people don't want the solutions why people just want to point, pinpoint the problems. We know the, we know the problem, guys. We know the problem. It's called leaching. Um, we know all about it. Now we have red tide experiencing uh, epic proportions that we've never seen. No, the two are not related as far as how they are created, but when the freshwater algae is dumped out into the ocean, like I warned you two weeks ago, it's not a good idea because the salt water kills the freshwater algae. And those nitrates and those phosphates that the freshwater algae took in become available for the red tide. Um, it's not Lord of the Rings, guys. It's common sense. It's a circle. It's a sacred circle. Please. The Captain Planet Project has ideas. My Uncle Kelly has been doing this for over a decade, over a decade of research using these duckweeds for this exact situation. Um, also, farming the duckweed on aquatic acreage instead of land acreage also lowers the competition between human beings and livestock management. Um, we could make this to where, hey, maybe we could eat cows and not have to feel so bad about it if we manage it correctly. Um, the crude protein is left as a byproduct after this um, this little duckweed scenario is actually so hot it has to be broken down to put into swine and cattle food. Um, these are good things, guys. We took a problem and we found five solutions. Why aren't we implementing them? We don't have time. We are running out of time. Please, please, please share this video with whoever you think has any kind of power and authority to do something about this. I can't fund this project myself. We need help, whether it be government, which we haven't been able to rely on yet, or private money. It's not hopeless, guys. I'm always smiling, but I tell you what, we need to get our hands dirty like I've been preaching and get to this. We have the solution. Thank you. Keep your chins up, guys. God bless you.